Welcome back to Redbeard RPG and Dragon Quest XI. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to help support the channel. Click the notification bell if you want to be alerted when I'm streaming or when I upload the video. Our hero returns to Heliodor with Eric to help him recover the Red Orb. The pair set up, set out for the slums to get it, but it's not where it's supposed to be. And, and so they go after the person most likely to have pinched it, Eric's old partner in crime. And Nur do well by the name of Derek. Newer do well? Is that what they're going for? He's opened up a shop in the posh part of the city, so the plucky pair head uptown. When they get there, Eric starts out angry at his old associate, associate, but Derek soon explains he returned the orb to the king in order to receive a reward and set up a shop, shop whose profits have been funneling into bribes for the dungeon guards in order to expedite Eric's escape. Eric ends up thanking his old thieving buddy, who in turn informs him that the orb is now being held, <coughs> now being kept in the King's Barrow, an ancient tomb over towards Cobblestone. Since they're headed that way anyways, our hero decided to take a detour to, to Redbeard's hometown on the way and set out on a scenic route via the much-feared Mangle Grove. All right, let's figure out. So we're in the city still, correct? Yeah, so we need to, let's bring that map up real quick. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot to do here. I mean, we could stop by, let's stop by this other armor shop real quick, see if they have anything of interest, if they're even open, it is nighttime. And then we will hit the road. Uh, leather shield, bandana. Hat. Seems like it's pretty much the same stuff. We can't afford the leather armor right now. We did buy a bunch of new armor and stuff in the in the slums of the city. All right. Copper sword. Copper chopper. Well, the chopper's a two-hand, right? We won't have our shield anymore. Yeah. Oh, this is the same building. Why did I bother going outside? Did not realize that. All right, let's head back to the old slums. I'm kind of wary of talking to people. What if I talk to this kid again? Yeah, he's still talking about how I helped with this help with this kitty. So people do recognize me. Maybe they're not aware that I'm the luminary who escaped from the dungeon. What's this fellow doing? Have you heard about the Darkspawn? Apparently, they had him locked up in the dungeons, but he managed to escape. I don't know much about him, but he's supposed to have this grudge against the world that makes him want to destroy everything. It sounds like a pretty sinister character to me. Be on your guard. Okay, so no one really knows what I look like. For the best, a seat of strength, wonderful. We will have to keep in mind. Can I? Nah, I can't get up there that way. There is some stuff up there. Can I get up from there? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I don't want to miss out on any precious loot. We can, yeah, get over there, over to here. I don't think I've broke these barrels yet. Medicinal herb, seven bucks. All right, nothing on the top of this house. Is there anything on right down here? Nothing there. Can't get up that way. It doesn't appear like there's anything up there anyways. Alright. Oh, couple pots. And I have yet again forgotten to set a timer, I'm now realizing. Give me just one second. Definitely want that so I don't make these episodes ridiculously long. Because this is a super fun game. 
and I could easily get distracted and go off the rails. What are we, five minutes in? Okay. That gives me a good idea where I need to start looking for a stopping point. I actually don't know if it was necessary for me to leave town this way, now that I'm thinking about it. Is there any reason I could not have just left through the main gate? I don't know. Yeah, no, no side quests left. What are these guys doing? Just partying? It's weird that this is like supposed to be the poor slums or whatever, but... Welcome to downtown Iliador. Grabbing little street posh folks don't walk... Posh folks walk over the wall, don't you know? You're not from around here. Well, you ain't got a reason to stick around. I wouldn't bother. You what? Planning to go to the Mangle Grove? Well, I'd strongly recommend you don't. But if you insist, it's due south of here. Yeah, they have superior shops, but it's supposed to be like the poor part of town. I don't really get that. Any sign of them? No, nothing. Let's search the town again. <laughs> yeah. Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We'd better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. All right. All right. Through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. Let's do. I did turn up the uh, game audio in my recording software, so let me know. Oh, this is the. Ooh, we got a side quest. Yeah, let me let me know if the uh, audio seems a little more balanced. The voice acting, I noticed you couldn't you could you could hear it, but not as well as I would like. So that blue-haired chap with you is called Eric, is he? Well, he looks like he knows a little how to handle himself. You could have picked a worse tra you could have picked a worse traveling companion, that's for certain. Now tell me something. Have you heard of pet powers? They're special attacks you can only unleash with the help of your companions. Basically, they're what happens when spells and abilities are mixed together in various combinations. And believe me, they're well worth learning. I can see I've piqued your interest. All right, let me think. Ah, of course, I've got just the one for you. I'm pretty sure that you and your friend Eric can put your mind to it, so you'll be able to master a little cracker known as the real decoy. To do this, you need to team up and try out, try it out on some hapless monsters. You'll soon see how incredible it is. Well, what do you say? Fancy giving it a try? Ooh, we get a gold chain for that. Yep, we'll go ahead and take that quest. That's the spirit. Just one word of warning. This pep power won't work unless the people performing it are pepped up. And what does that mean, I hear you ask? Well, it's when you're in a battle and monsters are attacking you. Suddenly, you find that you're fully focused and ready for anything. That should be enough to get you there, I'm sure. Now stop listening to me waffling and get on out there and try it. Once you've taken out a monster with a real decoy, come back and let me know. It takes two to tango quest. Oh, tutorial quests. That's, we'll do a lap around the building, see if there's anything of interest. I'll remember if we did that the first go around. Single file. Vile, file, something like that. Alright. Let's find us some monsters to play with. There's some right here. Oh, I forgot to swing my sword on them. A group of enemies appear. Uh. Oh, yeah, I gotta use the other keypad or deep uh, arrow keys for that instead of WASD. Boldly blocked it with my shield. I didn't just regular block it. Didn't block that one. That's all right. Um, what is heal frizz? Yeah, so there's nothing I can really do. Why for tactics? Tactics. There it is. Line up. 
View party status, settings. Nah. I'm trying to see if there's a way I could get the pep up going. I know it's, I think it's relative to like how many times you've been hit. 26 bucks for that, that's not bad. We do need to grind for a little money, I'm certain. Oh, I don't think we fought these guys yet. I'm certain we'll get to a point where... Um, uh, Eric's pepped up. So that... I have some, like, pep-up items, don't I? Shield, duh, duh. Apparently not. So I guess we'll just keep attacking and hope for the best. Because if we're not pepped up at the same time, we're not... We're not going to be able to do that. So if he loses his pep before I get mine, then we just need to move on. We'll come back to the person who, who offered us that quest later on. So I had gotten pepped up once before, and it seemed like a... Seemed like something that just happens. There we go, there it is. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, pep powers, yes please. The real decoy. Uh, we've already hurt that guy. Let's use the real decoy. Actually, uh, we'll, we'll hit the one we've already damaged. We probably can one shot the other guy with the pep power, but I don't want to risk failing the quests. Let's do it. Oh yeah, that would have taken him taken the guy who was Alright, we need to go to spells, heal Eric. Thanks. Alright. Let's run back. We'll finish that uh, that quest. Whoop! I accidentally clicked through that dialogue. I'm sure it was just telling me that I'd finished the quest, or that I needed to go back to this warrior here to finish said quest. No, don't say a word. You don't need to. A man with that vast fighting experience can recognize a first-time pep power user user a mile off. The glint in your eyes, the spring in your step, the glow of satisfaction. Oh yes, you nailed it, alright. You should be proud of yourself to have teamed up with a trusted ally and pulled off a pet power. It is a monumentous day for any aspiring warrior. Feels amazing, doesn't it? Yes, there's nothing like a pet power. And I must say, I feel rather proud of having opened your eyes to their wander. Here you are. Consider this a small souvenir to commemorate this magical moment. Receives a gold chain. Now don't forget, there are many more pet powers out there just waiting to be discovered. The number of ways in which spells and abilities could be combined is beyond even my imagining. And don't think they're all just two-person affairs. Oh no, there can be some that need three of you pepped up before they can be performed to. To cut a long story short, uh, it, it, you've, you've, you've done it in a long-winded way. You're not cutting it short at this point. Anyways, to cut a long story short, the more spells, abilities you master, the more, and the more companions you meet, the more pet powers will become available to you. Which just goes to show you can't always go it alone in this life. No, there's times when it really pays to work with others. Success, the quest has been trans transgressed with finesse. Alright, let's check out... Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's check out this gold chain, see if it does anything. Uh, I got Gemma's Charm and a Bracer on. Let's see if we can put that on uh, Eric. A precious necklace that boosts HP by just a bit. Perfect. Did I have... Oh, no. I thought I had another gold bracer, maybe. I guess not. 
All right, that'll get him a little more equipment. Let's head off to the mangle grove. I apparently cannot jump that small ledge even though I can fall off gigantic buildings. All right. Do I need to grind it all? I definitely want that free stuff there. Let's, have we fought one of these before? We have not. What is that little uh, cheetah with a mohawk thing? A scar scurub? What did that say? Oh, he summoned another archer. Well, that's not good. Great scare cub. That's what it is. Saber cub? Saber cub. Great saber cub. Interesting. Goodbye, kitty. Is he going to summon another archer? Yeah, that's what the other guy did when he summoned an archer. Okay. I was going to say, if like one of them summons another archer every round, then this is never going to end. I should have done a fire spell on him. He's going to summon another freaking archer. I got that guy down. This, this next guy's getting a fire spell. Good grief, he summoned another one. We better be stacking gold and experience points on this. You're getting a fireball too. All right, he didn't summon somebody. And he's down. Excellent. 62 experience and 50 gold coins. Heck yeah, red beard to level 6. We got two more skill points for a total of five. I think that's what we needed to increase. Oh, yeah. And Eric's got five skill points as well. Uh, yes, we are going to check that out. All right, we'll start with red beard. Because I think wasn't the first thing I wanted. Uh, this guy here. Pep chance plus 5%. Costs 8 points, not 5 points. Flame slash is 3. And uh, that's two-handed stuff. I'm not really worried about that. Attack power when wielding. Swords. Increases crit chance. Mm. I mean, I kind of, I kind of want to save up for all this stuff. This is the stuff I really want. I think. Yeah, we'll be patient. Let's check out Eric's skill tree, though. We haven't looked at that at all yet. All right, so this is with swords, which is what he has equipped now. These are these are projectile weapons on this side. Okay. And he doesn't. Does he have what's down here? Knives. This is all mystery stuff. So we got to work our way down there. Same to the north as well. But steals items. Ooh, I like free stuff. Um. Oh, that costs eight. Flame slash costs three. I'm really not not too interested in this flame slash move that we both seem to be able to get. So I think we're gonna save his points as well. What on earth is this? Ah, that archer's gotta go real quick. Before he starts calling for other people so we're gonna go ahead and burn him yeah stump jump is that really the name of this thing that is fantastic fantastic 10 out of 10 dragon quest developers fantastic there's, yeah, I saw an item over here. Let's go ahead and grab that up. Sleeping Hibiscus. We've already fought those guys. We'll just, we'll look for new enemies and we'll 
fight them. I think that's everything. Yeah. Whoa, what happened here? Did the enemy just like spawn on top of me? I didn't see anybody. Oh well. I don't think we have to worry about oh, that jerk. I should have went after the stump because I think the Eric's just going to go after the stump. Oh no, he's... Okay, cool. He was smarter than I was. Yeah, was stump chump. Yeah, just... Okay. So he's a healer. We got him anyways, though. Guess he doesn't have that much max HP. Ooh, treasure. Pink pine. Still don't really know what that's used for. Alright, let's move along. Keep our eyes peeled for any treasure lying about. And I kind of just seem to lay it up. Yeah. Oh, he actually got up behind me. Alright. Yeah, that archer needs to go away. No more summoning other people to help you out. We're not having that. He got me with Fury Swipe. That didn't do much at all. Yeah, the Scare Cup is definitely more dangerous. But he's already damaged the Platy Punk. Let's just get rid of him so they got one less attack per turn. I probably should Fire Blast him. He's got those buffs on him. Hopefully that'll finish him off. Excellent. I definitely want to explore, but I don't want to risk getting over leveled and like having the next boss fight be a joke or anything like that. So we need to we need to head on down the road. I believe we have just walked into the mangle grove. Excellent. Right, we got a gentleman waiting right here for us. Can we interact with any of these? Flowers does not seem so. They look like they would be something of use. Ah, we got an invisible wall there. Okay. It's your lucky day. I'm a traveling salesman, and to celebrate us running into each other like this, I'm going to offer you some special discounts. Have a look. Welcome to my roving emporium. How can I serve you? Let's see what you got. Copper sword... Bronze knife, that's an upgrade for, uh, what's his face? That guy. Did I already buy him a copper sword? Like, it's only a two upgrade. Oh no, he hasn't got a new weapon yet. We'll keep, we'll keep him with knives then. Oh, he's got more pages of stuff. Pointy hat. That is, looks terrible. I do like it. And the question becomes, do I get him more armor? Let's get him let's get him the knife for now. I don't know if this is a good price on this, but let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Eric's gonna carry it, and yes, he would like to equip it now. And then we got 63 bucks left. Yeah, we can't afford anything. Yeah, I think his prices are a little I think the leather armor's good, but aren't the boxer shorts kind of jacked up? I don't know. I don't really remember. Alright, let's move along. I am starting to do what I do in all games, and I'm really, really playing like a hoarder. What on earth is... Oh, is that like... That's like one of those things we fought on the top of the... Um, the Tor Tower. In the first, uh, first or second episode. Sorry, the second episode, I think. I don't think those mist monsters can be got with physical attacks, if I remember correctly. So let's go ahead and we will frizz the smog. Ooh, I'm probably gonna have to heal next turn. Oh boy! I just got knocked out. Well, I'm in control of Eric now. Oh, I'm not. 
Group of enemies are defeated. Eric got experience points. I did not. Um, whoops. Alright. Do I have any revival items or do we need to run all the way back? Oh, it gives... You get one HP. Okay, okay. So I could just uh, medicinal herb this then. All right, all right. All right, enemies are, are starting to get a little tougher. We need to pay more attention. Lesson learned. Let's kind of, we do want to kind of look around a little bit, see what this area has to offer. Awake Robin, whatever that is. There's a new little critter. Let's go ahead and go after him. A dancing devil. I hope this is not a mistake. Alright, only does one damage. Okay, that was shockingly easy. Enemies like that in a lot of these RPGs are like super have like some like, you know, super trolly tactics that really make you regret going after them. Okay, that's the way I came in. I've already searched over there. You can't go into this tomb, correct? You cannot. Alright, let's head on down the road. Let's see where it takes us. Ah, dang it. Snuck up behind me. What is that slug, little kissy slug thing? I'm still weary of this dancing devil. Lips is literally its name. Yeah, well, let's get that dancing devil out of there. That's maybe he is as benign as it seemed in that first fight, but I'm not. I'm not trusting that that's not a trolley monster that has does nice. weird buffs or something like that. All right, Eric gained a level, and he should have enough skill points to get his first. Upgrade, Oop. which I believe. Okay, so those daggers count as swords then. And these are, I'm assuming, throwing knives? Is that what the deal is with that? But we want the steal from an enemy. We want more stuff. Make our lives easier, potentially get equipment. A lot, a lot of reasons to go for that guy first. All right, keep our eyes peeled. Don't really need to fight anybody here. They're all, all the critters we fought before. See something sparkling over there? Definitely want that. Might get attacked from behind for doing so. You know what? Up! Oh, I meant to swing. I was gonna say, get off me, bro. Swing at him. Let's go. Right, now we gotta pay attention. That smog hits pretty hard. That's what got us in trouble last time. All right, mushrooms gone. Yeah, that guy hits pretty hard. Hopefully this should finish him off. And he is gone. Excellent. Alright. What are you doing, bud? Is there something over here? Something I've noticed in the past is those little guys are... They're like a hint at something. Let's check our map real quick. Okay. There's some alternate path off here, but it doesn't seem to go anywhere. Interesting. The alternate path the other way does go somewhere, but it doesn't tell me where it is. Let's just head up this way. We see a lot of mushrooms. Another little kitty. Uh-huh. That's what we're looking for, is treasure. Small scale. Oh! I thought those were decoration, didn't realize those were going to be the fun ghouls. 
That's okay. Let's just one. We'll get it. We'll take him down nice and quick. And we will learn from our mistake. And gain a level. <laughs> and we'll use those skill points. Alright, and we wanted pep chance plus five percent. To unlock our stat boosts down here. Let's zap. What's this one? Poof. Oh, we have to get all the things around a question mark to unlock the question mark. Is that how that works? Lightning on a group of enemies. That's very good. We'll probably go zap next. Targets all enemies and makes them disappear. Interesting. I think we want lightning, though. All right, perfect. And on that note, we're going to call this an episode. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, click the notification bell if you want to be alerted to whenever I got content coming out, streaming, whatever. Let me know and have a good one.